Very good evening to you with Sports Night. I'm Damien Best. Well, there's a new man at the helm of Cricket West Indies. Ricky Skerritt and Dr. Kishore Shallow have been uh, nominated as president and vice president of the West Indies Cricket Board. Number one priority continues to be development and sustainable output of high quality young cricketers, um, some of whom will go on to play international cricket and some of whom will, will, will uh, just become better human beings and, and live, I think, more wholesome lives. But we, we have to get the, the whole high-performance system operating at its optimum, and we have to bring more science and technology to the table, and we're going to do that in partnership with the University of the West Indies. Ricky, do you think that the endorsements you received from Sir Viv and Sir Andy, uh, Darren Sammy, Clive Lloyd, do you think that went a long way towards convincing uh, those who might have even nominated Dave Cameron in, in uh, giving you the vote in the end? They're the most powerful uh, forces in Caribbean cricket, even though some people don't believe that. When you get an endorsement from Sir Vivian Richards and um, Andy, Ro Sir Andy Roberts and Derek Murray and Roger Harper, etc., etc., I mean, the, the, this tells a story. It, it, it tells people that these folks want to see a change and that they know why they want to see a change and that they're prepared to, to risk <laughs> Ricky Skerritt being the one uh, that was Ricky Skerritt there speaking to Lionel Lemp's Barry Wilkinson. Well, he was elected the day after elections were completed at the Jamaica Pegasus Hotel. Now, six territorial boards whose combined 12 votes they, they decided the hierarchy of the organization. Well, they voted 8-4 to four in favor of Skerritt and Dr. Shallow over incumbents Dave Cameron and Emmanuel Nanthan. Now, Skerritt's strategic plan, which he outlined in his run-up to the elections, included the decentralization of the high-performance center and increased investment in grassroots cricket. Well, a brilliant 75 not out from player of the match, DeAndre Dotton saw Barbados defeat host Guyana by five wickets in round four of the Colonial Medical Insurance Women's Super 50 uh, Cup competition. Guyana women batted first at the National Stadium and were bowled out for 159 in 42.3 overs. Shemaine Campbell top scored with 45, while Haley Matthews took four for 25 and Shakira Selman two for 23. Barbados women then replied with 164 for five to win by five wickets. Dotton's 75 came off just 56 deliveries and included 12 fours and a six, while Kaisia Knight added 45. And finally, it's now three straight wins for Station Hill Cavaliers in the 2019 Core Operator General Insurance Premier League Basketball Competition. In their latest match at the BCC Gym, the Cavs brush aside Hilton Barbados Resort Warriors 71 to 54. Meanwhile, second place KFC Orange Three Pylons and the City United Celtics their third defeat. BABA -A Premier League City United Celtics taking on Pylons in red. Second quarter, Stevenson Callender drills the mid-range jumper. Had 12 points to go along with his three assists. Zahir Motara answers with a bullet pass to Junior Moore. Not going to miss from there. Two of his ten. Moore with a triple-double on the night. Darion Hurley was one of five players in double figures for the Pine team. Touch basketball, splits two, flips it up and in. Sweet, 15 points in the contest. Pylons would close out the first half at 49 to 33. Ian Alexander finds himself in the right place at the right time. Shot 50% from the field, 10 points in the till. Coming out of the break, Celtics actually outscored Pylons 22 to 17, but they were still trailing by 10 points with one quarter to go. Sean Henry going directly to the cup, 14 points, finger roll to finish. But the man wearing number three, Ramon Simmons was in the zone, beyond the arc, count it. Game high 24 points, four of 10 from upstairs. Celtics with a few takeaways, they matched their opponents in the scoring column in the fourth. 26 all. Mario Springer with 13 points in traffic gets the job done. But Pylons were just too much going on to seal the win. 92 to 81 against the Celtics. Second game brought together the Cavs in black versus Warriors. Nikolai Williams goes baseline to open his account. Justin Powell at the Warriors in this one with 18. That's a three-point play, bucket and a foul. 
Ricardo Toussaint was the only other player to register double figures. Goes coast to coast here and has that nice touch at the end. Finished with 15 points. Both teams combined for just 53 points in the first half. Connect the dots. Said Norval, the flush, team high 17 points. Then shows active hands, the pick, and off to the races. Stays with the play, adds two more. Shaquan Newton now with one of his four assists. Powell making it look all so easy. But they could not stop Norval. Defense too slow to react. Reversal, training ground stuff. The Cavs go on to win this one. 71 to 54 against the Warriors.